Welcome back as we continue to explore the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. We've got our exercise opened up on the page. The first thing we are going to do is go over to our layers, double click to the right of the name, and create a template. Okay, and we're going to create a new layer, not dragging the template layer to make a duplicate but just to create a new layer. Double click it, we'll just call it curves. Alright, make sure we are on the correct layer. I'm going to hide that. So the very first thing we do is we load our our tool. So by clicking A for the direct selection tool and then P for the pen tool, we've now got both tools loaded and we can toggle back and forth with simple key, keystroke commands. I have my black stroke right now, but right but I would like to get rid of the white fill, so I've done that. So let's let's start. Let's click shift drag to two. Click on three, shift drag to four, so we're constraining that that curve. Okay. Now we're going to click on six shift drag to seven okay so it doesn't give us more of that um, nice even curve but we are going to come back to that so then we click on nine shift drag to ten click on twelve shift drag to thirteen click on 15, shift drag to 16, click on 18, shift drag to 19. Now if we hold the control key down, that puts us back into the direct selection tool, click away. So now we've we've stopped the process of that path. But now but we are going to click back on it and click point three. We get both of our handles. So now we have, if we hold the alt key or the option on Max, alt on PC, option on Max, our pen tool shifts to the convert anchor point tool. So now actually we've got three tools and all we're doing is simple keystrokes between pen tool, direct selection tool, and anchor, convert anchor point tool. Alright, so we are going to grab this handle at four and drag it down to five. And then we click on point six so we get both of our handles. Now if we now if we grab this handle with our direct selection tool, see it moves both both sides of the of both handles, both sides of the point. But when we go to the direct selection tool it only adjust the handle that we're grabbing. So we click on 9, grab 10 and drag it down to 11, click on 12, grab 13 and drag it to 14, click on 15, drag it to 17. 
So there you have the reverse curves exercise. The, uh, the key skill we're, we're emphasizing is loading that pen tool so that you have not one, not two, but three tools available at your disposal with simple keystrokes. Um, so thank you so much and we will move on and apply this knowledge.